Hello everyone, I'm Bob Young, Mayor for the City of Leduc. In 2021, our city faced new challenges because of COVID-19, but we pushed onward in delivering on our commitments and to provide high quality services to those who call Leduc home. In looking back, I couldn't be more grateful for our residents. You drew together with kindness, compassion, and a collective resilience that showcased the inspiring community spirit that is alive and well in Leduc. We have emerged strengthened, optimistic for our future, and proud of all our achievements and the milestones that we reached last year. And now, with an updated strategic plan, we are excited about where we are headed. Not just for us at the city, but for our residents and businesses, local community groups and regional partners. Year after year, we've seen people continue to choose to stay in Leduc or move to our community and make it their home. In fact, 366 new residences were built in Leduc last year, and according to the 2021 federal census, the city grew by 13.7% since 2016. That makes us one of the fastest growing communities in the region. We're especially proud of the results from last year's citizen satisfaction survey. The results showed 95% of residents are pleased with the quality of life they enjoy in Leduc. Overall residents said it's the size of our city, our parks and trail network, municipal services, and community spirit that are key to making Leduc a wonderful place to settle and put down roots. It was an exciting year with activities that strengthened our neighborhoods and supported a vibrant and connected volunteer sector. From Canada Day to our second annual Light Up Leduc, we hosted five signature events and added 71 new volunteers to our growing database. We also named three community parks in recognition of long-serving community members who have made significant contributions to our city. John Jackie Park, Roche Park, and Dennis Nosick Park are in the Blackstone and Meadowview neighborhoods. To commemorate the first National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, the city held a flag raising ceremony at the Leduc Civic Center on September 30th. As a community, it was important that we gathered in somber reflection to grieve the horrific tragedies and ongoing legacy of residential schools in Canada and to honor survivors, their families and communities. During the ceremony, we raised the Treaty 6 and Métis flags and paused for a moment of silence, which was led by a residential school survivor. We know the interconnectedness of the past, present and future are foundational to the success, health and sustainability of our city and region. It is our responsibility to create and encourage awareness so that we can build a safer, more inclusive environment for generations to come. In Leduc, we are committed to creating a welcoming and caring place to live, and we understand that history, diversity, people and culture are woven into the unique fabric of our community. In the years ahead, we will acknowledge and celebrate this and strive for reconciliation. In the 2023-2026 Strategic Plan, we outline ways that we will continue to make Leduc a great place to live. Over the next four years, we will foster a community that celebrates diversity and inclusion, makes programs and services accessible, and promote arts, culture, and heritage. We will also focus on mental health and addiction supports, community volunteerism, enhancing community safety and well being, reconciliation with Indigenous communities, and acknowledging the history of the region. Using the city's new public engagement framework, we will look for new opportunities to hear from residents and local businesses on city projects that impact you. One of the city's highest priorities when it comes to our ability to grow and plan for the future is addressing the Edmonton Airport Vicinity Protection Area regulations. In 2021, we worked hard to share information with the community about how the AVPA regulations impact our ability to grow. And between March and December, the city reached close to 30,000 residents through our website, social media, and local media coverage. We also spent a significant amount of time advocating for the amendments that will help Leduc develop in a sustainable and cost-effective way. Another important way that we plan for the future is by maintaining city infrastructure 
And during the construction season last year, we made major road upgrades to do just that. Projects like the widening of Grant McEwen Boulevard and the rehabilitation of a sizable portion of the Corinthian neighborhood are just a couple of examples of recent investments that will set Leduc up to safely improve traffic flow, ease congestion, and accommodate future traffic levels. The last few years have also taught us a lot about being innovative in doing our part to give local businesses a competitive edge. So we were happy to partner with TELUS in 2021 to enhance broadband internet service to the community. This project is being funded and overseen by TELUS and is a significant investment in Leduc. We know that having access to stable, secure, high-speed internet is not a luxury for business today. It's a necessity. And we also know that fast and reliable internet access has been an issue for some areas of our city, like the Leduc Business Park. Exciting enhancements were made to our local transit service when On Demand Transit rolled out in August. With three easy ways to book a trip, On Demand Transit allows riders to choose when and where they're picked up and dropped off in Leduc. Overall, we're pleased with how the service is running. At the end of 2021, local ridership had doubled and the service was an average rated 4.8 stars out of 5. The Leduc Assisted Transportation Service was also improved when we began to offer free one-way trips to the Leduc Recreation Centre and Eco Station. This makes it easier for seniors in our community and people with disabilities to access recreational amenities and programs, properly dispose of household waste. At the City, we know that growth and development is about balance, and we believe that we must do all that we can to create a sustainable community that demonstrates our care and respect for the earth. One of the most impactful ways that we can all do this is by sorting our household waste properly so as many items as possible are diverted from the landfill. We're happy to see that in 2021, our Recycle Coach app grew to more than 3,500 total subscribers and that the community used the app to search close to 20,000 items in order to learn what goes where. In the fall, the city began installing an electric vehicle charging station and solar carport downtown. This project is intended to bring more people into Leduc's core while also reducing our carbon dioxide emissions by roughly 15 tons per year. And through a number of environmentally focused initiatives like our annual Arbor Day, Backyard Hens and Bees pilot program, and local bird counts, people in our community helped us plant 661 trees, learned about producing eggs and honey in their own backyard, and recorded thousands of bird sightings. We made excellent progress in this area last year and we look forward to seeing the city continue to grow and develop while being intentional about replenishing what we've borrowed from the earth. In the recently updated strategic plan, we've outlined key strategies to help us achieve our goal of being a city with a plan for the future. We're always working very closely with land developers and home builders to see new neighborhoods and complete communities added to the city. We're also reviewing the industrial provisions to the land use bylaw and with projects like the Urban Center Area Redevelopment Plan, 65th Avenue Interchange, Firehouse 3, and a potential West Campus on our horizon, we are excited to see how our community will continue to grow. Like countless other municipalities in Alberta and across the country, Leduc continued to face economic challenges in 2021 due to COVID-19, and our business community has been top of mind throughout it all. Small business is in many ways the heartbeat of our community, and we are proud of the resilience that so many businesses in Leduc have shown these last few years. We work hard to find ways to help support you and do our best to make the permit and licensing process quick and efficient for you. For example, we partnered with the Chamber of Commerce, Downtown Business Association, and the University of Alberta to launch a Get Digital program that helped 58 local business owners establish or expand their online presence. We also developed a COVID recovery grant last year, the first of its kind, which connected local business owners with accountants and bookkeepers and paid for up to five hours of professional services, allowing them to apply for provincial and federal grants, which would help them stay afloat during the government restrictions and closures. In total, 88 local businesses benefited from the grant last year. And in addition to the helping businesses who are already up and running in Leduc, we are always looking for ways to attract new businesses to the community. With this in mind, we are excited to celebrate that last year, our total building permit values had increased from 2020 and that 2021 was a record-breaking year for Leduc, 
on the number of approved business licenses in our community. Last year, the city updated its seasonal outdoor patio program to support local restaurants by letting them open patios using city sidewalks, parking stalls, and boulevards from mid-April to mid-October. In the first year of the pandemic, we offered this program in the downtown core, but after seeing its success, we knew it was important to broaden it to businesses located anywhere in Leduc. Now, the seasonal outdoor patio program will run each year, and we look forward to seeing businesses taking advantage of the long summer days and this opportunity to entertain more guests at a time. Sport tourism is an important contributing factor to the prosperity of Leduc, and we are proud to host dozens of tournaments and thousands of athletes in our community each year. During the 2021 Canadian Junior Girls Golf Championship, for example, there were more than $387,000 generated in economic activity right here in Leduc. This event was held at the Leduc Golf and Country Club and drew 400 visitors to the city, the majority of whom stayed overnight for almost a full week. In total, the event supported close to $100,000 in local salaries and wages. We wouldn't be able to continue to attract these events without the generous hospitality and customer service that our local businesses offer their guests. Thank you to all of you who generously help us welcome these visitors to our community. The City of Leduc continues to be open for business and we're excited to find new ways to make the city and region economically prosperous. As new businesses open their doors in Leduc, we look forward to seeing a greater range of services and types of businesses available to our residents. And while we work closely with industry leaders to help reduce red tape, we are committed to continuing to provide effective business support. Altogether, this highlights our leadership in the region. We are committed to being a community where you want to invest. The City is pleased to partner with other municipalities and community groups on projects that allow us to provide cost-effective and efficient services. In doing so, we are positioned to serve our residents' needs today and tomorrow while making responsible, financially prudent decisions that set us up for long-term success. For example, in 2021, we signed a mutual aid agreement with the City of Beaumont that allows each municipality to request fire assistance from the other when needed. By taking the regional approach, both communities can provide an enhanced fire service to a fast-growing region. Alongside our municipal partners, we also contributed to the Regional Air Service Opportunity Fund last year. The fund, which is managed by Edmonton Global, will help reduce the risks for airlines looking to resume operations at the Edmonton International Airport. This is a proactive, positive and strategic move that will support and attract airlines who are in the midst of planning routes that will be in place for the next three to five years. As an active regional partner, the City signed a Collaborative Economic Development Memorandum of Understanding with 12 other area municipalities last year. While this initiative is still in its initial stages, partners will work together to create a plan for municipalities to attract investment, leverage existing resources and knowledge in new ways, and work out a plan to directly share in the financial benefits. And as a collaborative community builder, the city worked with Habitat for Humanity, Qualico, and Paysetter Homes on the construction of two duplex homes in the Meadowview community. The city's contribution was to donate four lots for the build. And in December, two new families were welcomed home for the holidays. It was so rewarding to gather and celebrate with these families, to see the big smiles on their faces and hear their story. Each family will make their own distinct mark on our community, and we are grateful for the time, effort, and collaboration that went into the construction of these new homes. We know the city is seen as a trusted partner in local and regional collaboration, and are proud that this goal is still an important priority in our updated strategic plan. Over the next four years, we remain committed to building community capacity and improving municipal programs, services, and infrastructure by working with interest groups and stakeholders. And we will continue to look for innovative ways to make the most of not only our existing partnerships, but also new opportunities to work with others in the region. In the fall, the city was in full election mode as we prepared for the 2021 municipal election. 
As part of this, the city launched its election hub, a new interactive website that became a one-stop shop with information, key dates for both candidates and voters. After plenty of door knocking and listening to what the community had to say, we went to the polls on October 18th and almost 7,000 voters came out to cast a ballot. That's about 27% of all eligible voters. The newly elected council was sworn in for the 2021 to 2025 council term in November, and our team is committed to responsible, visionary leadership. All of us on council encourage residents in our community and local business owners to be active, engaged citizens. If you want to stay informed or get involved, but you're not sure where to start, you can check out our city council agendas to know what's being discussed, participate in engagement opportunities that happen throughout the year, or you could consider serving on a board or committee that piques your interest. Our goal is to continue building a community that reflects the people who live here, and we look forward to connecting with you soon to hear your ideas and input on the city's programs, services, and initiatives. 2021 was certainly a very busy year. And now we look ahead to delivering on the city's new strategic plan. This is one of our most important guiding documents because it outlines how we will meet the needs of our community for the next four years. Our vision, mission and goals have not changed. That means we still wanna be a city where people wanna live, a city with a plan for the future, an economically prosperous city and region, and a collaborative community builder and regional partner. But we've updated our strategies to better reflect where we are today and what we want to accomplish next. On behalf of all of us on Leduc City Council, thank you for your contributions to our vibrant community and we look forward to what we will achieve in the years ahead.